Welcome. Welcome to the Bethel Pittsburgh YouTube channel. We encourage you to subscribe. This is Reverend Livingston here, bringing you a word of life on fire today on the subject, blessing and prosperity. This subject of blessing and prosperity has become a very controversial topic amongst church folks today. We want to be blessed. We want to live to the abundant life that Jesus died to give to us. And yet, we don't want to approach God as if he, he's a, a lottery system or a slot machine. Uh, you know, where, where you, where if you put in the right amount of prayer, praise, worship, faith, and, and works, then boom, out comes your blessing. <laughs> ka-ching, ka-ching, ka-ching. Too many church folks see God only as that. And they get angry. If uh, they get angry when the Lord doesn't pay out for them the way that they want it. But blessing and prosperity are more than money, more than the material things of this world. Jesus said, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. <laughs> Amen, somebody. Amen. Listen, in the Bible, a blessing is depicted as a mark of God's relationship with a person or a nation. And uh, to be blessed is a sign of God's grace. Let me say that again. To be blessed, biblically, is a sign of God's grace upon a person or or a people and maybe even his presence among them god god's grace is his favor god's grace is his favor his loving kindness and benevolence freely given to those who love him freely given to those who love him Am I right about it? <laughs> Say yeah. <laughs> Listen, Bibl uh, biblical prosperity is simple. Simply means being blessed by God. Prosperity means being blessed by God. God wants to pro God wants you to prosper, but but He does He does not necessarily want you financially rich. <laughs> you know, if some of us Christians uh, uh, become financially rich, it, it will destroy our true riches, our spiritual riches, especially if we were not firmly anchored in the ways of God first. Am I right about that? <laughs> you can say yeah. God says, you don't need you don't need money. You need my favor. You don't need money. <laughs> you need my favor. Hallelujah, somebody. My, my favor. God's favor releases great blessings. Finding favor means uh, gaining approval, acceptance, or uh, special benefits. Or blessings. You know, the Bible is, is full of great examples of, of how the favor that we humans receive from God depends upon His good pleasure and is often extended to us uh, in response to our prayers or response to our righteous living. And righteous living, of course, is simply prayerful living. 
Joseph in the Bible, Joseph experienced God's favor and went from the prison to the palace. <laughs> from the prison to the palace. God will do the same for you. God can change your life in a moment, in a day. Amen, somebody. Am I right about it? <laughs> you know you have to say yeah. Gabriel, the angel Gabriel told Mary, mother of God, that she had found favor with God and that she would, she would birth the Christ child. Uh, because because she was full of grace. Let me say that again. Because she was full of grace. She found favor. When, when Christ was born, the host of angels announced to the shepherds in the field uh, that God would, would send his peace to men on whom his favor rested. At the age of 12, Jesus himself enjoyed the favor of, of, of God and of men as he grew in, in, in stature and wisdom. Oh, my brothers and my sisters, when you begin to walk in the favor and blessing of the Lord, others will notice it. Because the favor and blessing of God on your life is one of the most powerful things that can be released to you. Praise God, somebody. <laughs> Praise God. If you enjoyed this little discussion, hit the like button, share it, and or leave a comment to let us know what you think. Also, Click on the notification bell to receive no updates from us. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thanks for watching. God bless you. We love you. See you next week. Bye. Bye-bye.